we said. This is kind of the hard way to find the efficiency, but this works. Again, and the reason I want to show you this is because I want you to understand the process to find the energy that occurs between any two states. We did that over here. We found the heat from state two to three, just setting up a first law. Draw your piston, what across the boundary, the heat. That's the only thing across the boundary from two to three is the heat. That's equal to M delta U. Same thing here. The only thing that occurs between states one and two, there's no heat because it's isentropic, and you're compressing, so that's work in. And the same thing from state three to four. I've got expansion, so it's work out. Minus work out is, again, final minus initial. Three, I'm sorry, four minus three. You multiply your negative sign up. Okay, so we saw that. Let's, let's, let's not reiterate too much. Now, again, we said there is an easy way for an auto cycle to find that efficiency. And I'm not coming up on the screen, do I? No. So this efficiency, this is one way, the way we just did. It's also 1 minus 1 over k, 1 over r to the k minus 1. Okay? So the thermal efficiency can also be found because it's an auto cycle. Specifically for an auto cycle, it is 1 over r to the k minus 1. I'm sorry, it's 1 minus this fraction. I apologize, scribble that out if you need to. 1 minus 1 over r to the k minus 1. Now we know our, our r value, our r value, that's 1 over um, 9.5, and the k minus 1, that's 1.4 minus 1, that's to the power of 0 0.4. So, we've got 9.5 raised to the power of 0.4. I'm going to invert that. And I'm going to add that. I'm going to take the negative of that and add it to 1. The efficiency ends up being about 60%. It's about um, 0 0.594, we'll say, or about 59.4%. And that would be fine. You should be able to find, and I'd let you do this on your own, you should be able to find, because we know all the temperatures now, right? Uh, and again, we could go back and verify, now that we know all four of the temperatures, we can verify that T3 is in fact the max. But now that we know all four temperatures, you should probably find the same percent there. Reiterates that for a reversible cycle, the only thing that influences the efficiency is the temperatures. Kind of neat. Okay, um, so that's an example problem. Is there a lot to that? Yes, there is. Auto cycle examples do tend to take up a lot. Okay. Um, L25 is page 4. Yes, as you see, this went on for multiple pages. When I, when I do this on chalkboards, I normally fill up both big chalkboards in the classroom, and it's not uncommon I erase them at least once. Um, that's Guys, that's just how engineering school is. A lot of math. That's five pages for one problem. Yes, this, I do put an auto cycle problem on the final, and, and, but here's what I would point out to you. I've taken a lot of painstaking effort to explain every detail of this, and um, I've shown every single step, and this problem is asking for four different things. Notice if this problem only asks for maybe the heat and the efficiency. Now, you wouldn't have to find P3 if that's the case. You'd still need to find T3 and T2. Um, what if I already gave you the heat and I ask you for the, the network out given uh, the efficiency and find the temperature? I, I don't know. There's, I could be very picky about, I could not ask you for four different things just to ask you for a couple of things, and as long as you know your way around the cycle, you could probably do it very quickly, and, and often that's what happens, is if you know your way around these problems, uh, the problem that I assign on the exam is normally not too big of a challenge, okay? So do be prepared for an auto cycle problem on the exam, on the final, and um, there we go, okay? All right, um, I... 
I kicked around the idea of talking about the diesel cycle and the Rankin cycle just very quickly. I'm not going to do that. It's summertime. Um, I'm, I'm going to hate myself later <laughs> when uh, if I ever had to do an online class again that I didn't go ahead and do videos for these, but uh, I'll just do them later. Okay, so we're going to stop there. We're going to call that a semester. Um, I will go ahead and between now and Tuesday I will generate uh, review, final exam review videos. Um, although I may look at the what I did in the spring and, and just uh, point you towards those because I think those are actually in pretty good shape. So um, you're welcome to go find those. You can find those on my channel. If, if you're ready to go ahead and review for the final, you can find my videos from the spring. I don't expect them to do a whole lot different. You can, I may just use those videos since they're already done. Okay? Again, let me know how I can help you, and um, that's what I got. You guys have a good uh, rest of your week. Good luck on your other finals.